online video tutorial on CMOS VLSI design processes using Lambda rules. Myself, Srishel Prakash Swami from Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. These are the learning outcomes. At the end of this session, the students will be able to understand the different MOS layers, understand the design rules and layout importance, understand the lambda based design rules and layouts for the fabrication of CMOS circuits. These are the contents. First, we have to understand the MOS layers. Then we have to understand the design rules and layout importance in the VLSI process. Then we need to understand the lambda based design rules and layouts. So in the VLSI design flow process, in the last session, we discussed about the schematic diagram and the stick diagram. Now in this session, we are discussing on the layout diagram using monochrome and color code by the lambda based rules. So these are the MOS layers by using which we are going to use the lambda rules and we are going to design the CMOS layout. These are the MOS layers P veil which is shown by yellow color, N veil which is shown by the green dotted line, then P diffusion that one is shown by the different colors, P N diffusion then polysilicon then metal 1 metal 2 then contacts, then wire, then demarcation line. So this already we have discussed in the sch uh, schematic as well as the stick diagram. Now the design rules and layout. Generally the design rules specify the geometric constraint on the layout artwork. So geometric constraints means the dimensions of the end side, end MOS, then PMOS and the polysilicon, then metals. So for all that there will be the dimension requirement and for the dimension requirement we need to specify in the layout artwork. Then the design rules and layout provides a communication channel between the IC designer and the fabrication process engineer. There are the two approaches to describe the design rules. The first one is scalable design, design rule which is known as lambda based design rule then second one is absolute design rule which is known as micron based design rule. now lambda based design rule the all rules are defined in terms of a the single parameter which is known as lambda then the scaling can be easily done simply by changing the value of lambda next in the next approach that is micron based design rule in that the design rules are expressed in the absolute dimension which is mentioned in micrometer nanometer so yeah. now it is very important why we are going to use the design rules for the fabrication so the design rules and layout will act as the interface between the designer and process engineer generally the process engineer are only knows the processes of the fabrication if the design or layout is known then it is easy for the fabrication process historically the process technology referred to the length of silicon channel between the source and drain terminals in the field defect transistor or mosfet that is what the channel length between the drain and source is important factor consider in the lambda based design rule as well as the micron based design rule. Now the sizes of other features are generally derived as a ratio of channel length where some may be larger than or smaller than the channel size and some smaller that I told. Example in a 90 nanometer process the length of the channel may be 90 nanometer but the width of the gate terminal may be only 50 nanometer. Okay. Now, this is what this shows the history in the VLSI industries, the design rules and layout in the manufacturing processes of the semiconductor as well as CMOS circuit. Then in the 1971, the scale in the micron is 10 micrometer. In the 1975, it is reduced to 3 micrometer like this. 
now in previously previous year 2022 the it is the 11 nanometer means the size of the technology day by day it is going to reduce next the micron rules all minimum sizes and spacing spacing between different materials or layers is specified in the microns in this micron rules the rules don't have to be a multiple of lambda we can take any value this can result in 50% reduction in the area over the lambda based rules means compared to the lambda based rule in the micron rules the size we requires less next this micron rules mostly used in the industry which consider as a standard now we will focus on lambda based design rules lambda based design rules define the scalable rules based on the lambda so lambda is what which is a variable which is considers which is the half of the minimum channel length between drain and source the circuit designer in general want the tighter smaller layouts for improved performance and decrease silicon area on the other hand the process engineer that is what fabrication process engineer wants the design rules that results in a controllable and reproducible process generally all widths spacing between materials or layers and distances are mentioned in the form of lambda which is known as lambda is equal to 0.5 into minimum distance between source and drain of the transistor now first the design rules and layout for n diffusion p diffusion and polysilicon so this is what the n diffusion and the right hand side shows the minimum separation between each layer so minimum width it is shown okay now for the n diffusion the width will be 2 lambda for p diffusion also the width will be 2 lambda the distance separation between 2 n diffusion will be 3 lambda similarly the distance between 2 p diffusion will be 3 lambda now next these below red colors are nothing but polysilicon the width of the polysilicon is 2 lambda if two polysilicon are taken then the separation distance between two polysilicon will be 2 lambda the separation distance between or dimension between n diffusion or p diffusion with polysilicon is 1 lambda next we will discuss about the metal if metal one we are considering then the width of metal one is 3 lambda if you are taking two metals of same type then the separation distance between same type metals will be also 3 lambda similarly if you are considering metal two then for metal two the width will be 4 lambda the separation distance between same type of metal two that is also 4 lambda now next for n mos enhancement for p mos enhancement and n mos depletion what will be the lambda rule we can discuss so here this is the green color which is nothing but n diffusion and this red color or orange color which is nothing but polysilicon when the polysilicon will crosses the n diffusion it will forms the n mos enhancement the dimension for uh, polysilicon is 2 lambda and for n diffusion is also 2 lambda so the the central part dimension is 2 lambda cross 2 lambda similarly it is applicable for pmos this is what the horizontally pmos p diffusion and this vertically is polysilicon when polysilicon crosses the p diffusion it will forms the pmos enhancement the dimension is 2 lambda cross 2 lambda so it it will shows the dimension similarly this is what the depletion where there is a for n mos depletion there will be the p well which is shown by the yellow color dotted line Uh, the size of this p well will be 6 lambda by 6 lambda now if different materials materials are there so here metal one to polysilicon or to diffusion that is what shown here so left hand side is the metal one ha having the width 3 lambda and right hand side there is a polysilicon having the width 2 lambda if the contact we have to establish then we have to use metal metal to polysilicon contact which is having dimension 4 cross 4 so insert that the 2 cross 2 cross will be the cut centered now if the metal is perpendicular to polysilicon meeting at some point then there exist a contact 
we have to use the metal to polysilicon contact who is having the dimension 4 cross 4 which is superimposed. Now here the P diffusion is shown, metal is shown and the contacts are shown. So this is also 4 cross 4. So up to now we discussed about the lambda rules using color code. Now these lambda rules and layouts by using the monochrome code. So uh, the N diffusion is shown here the cross lines are there. For P diffusion the spacing is more in the cross lines. For uh, this below is the polysilicon from left to right uh, crossing lines are there. For metal one the vertical lines are there metal one for metal two the horizontal lines are there remaining the spacing dimensions are same as the color code dimensions so this is what the lambda based design rules using microwin software by which we can design the layout for the cmos logic circuit so when we will uh, click on the microwin software then this home page will come and by pressing here the mos generator we will get this window so here if you are observing we can select here nmos by clicking on this then by clicking on this we can select the pmos here so here we in the right hand side there is units or rules whether you are using the lambda rules or the micron rules so if you want to design in the lambda rules so you can click the lambda rules okay so this is what the micron where the dimensions are shown in the micrometer so here it will show the dimension so here at the right corner the pellet is there by which we can drag the different materials metals polysilicon n diffusion p diffusion we can design the layout using nmos and pmos above part it is showing what the all types of metal contact these are the below one the signals it is showing ground vdd then output then clock signal it is showing it from here we can directly generate the nmos and pmos and by using these different color codes, we can design the VLSI CMOS logic. So here the lambda, is, lambda rule is specified. So here the length means it detects the actual width and the width is shown here by the W. So width may be changed but lambda length will be the fix once you select the NMOS and PMOS. So here you can observe. So at the corner there will be the lambda rule or micron, micrometer rule that is specified and according to that you can select the actual dimension of the nmos or pmos these are the references cmos vlsi designed by neil h e west david harris a principle of cmos vlsi design neil west kamran ishragen thank you